Cricketers and Happy New Year. Welcome to Cricketing with Delanda. It's me again, Delanda, and I reached another milestone today. Today, when I woke up this morning, I realized that I had reached 6,000 subscribers. So from the bottom of my heart, I want to say thank you. In today's tutorial, I want to show you how to make print then cut stickers and what a better time. There is no better time than today. Design Bundles currently has a free bundle that is uh, motivational stickers, and that is the best way to start 2022, by motivating yourself. Sometimes you will be the only, only motivation you have, so it's always good to motivate yourself. All right, so before we get into the tutorial, you know what I need you to do, the three things. Hit the like, subscribe, and turn on the bell for notifications because I do upload new content every single week without fail. So without further ado, we're gonna look at the materials, but before we do that, I wanna invite you to look at my Amazon storefront because that is where I've shared all of my favorite things. If it's something that I love, I shared it there. In the tutorial today, I'm using this brand of Ava sticker paper. It's the one that is the, um, this is the glossy version. There's also a matte version. I like both of them equally, but I'm using this one. So without further ado, let's look at the other materials you will need in order to create beautiful motivational stickers. The materials that I'll be using for this project include my Cricut Maker. I'll use my green standard grip mat. I'll use this Ava vinyl sticker paper. I'm using the glossy version of it. There is a matte version and glossy. I like them both. And I'm using a free bundle. It's free for five more days according to the, the Design Bundles website. I'm using a free bundle that I downloaded from Design Bundles. I'll show you how to do that. Um, and I'm going to be using them to make these stickers. So this is what my sticker sheet looks like and I will show you the full process. Okay, so without further ado, Let's, let me show you how to download this bundle from Design Bundles. I am on the Design Bundles website. And if you look at the top, there are a few tabs. There is an affiliate tab that's, of course, for affiliates, free designs, $1 deals, plus membership, and then just multiple sites. I'm going to go to the tab that says free designs. And whether you are a member or not, Design Bundles has free designs weekly, and they also offer a lot of free designs like on a daily basis. So this file right here is a Motivational Bundle Volume 1. I'm going to click on it, and it says that it's free for five days, 17 hours, 57 minutes, okay? And so at the time of recording, which is January 1st at 3 o'clock p.m., I'm in Texas, this file is free for five more days. I'm going to click download free. And once I download it, it'll come to this folder at the bottom of my screen. So I'm looking at the bottom left. Okay, I'm gonna click it. And then I have the option to extract all. I always choose extract all, even though I'm not using a Mac. So when I extract all, it gives me the files for a Mac and for a Windows computer. So I'm gonna click Extract All. I'm going to click Browse. I on my fault on my computer, I have a file just for my design bundles. So I'm gonna to go to Documents, I'm gonna to go to Design Bundles Files, I'm gonna to go to Select Folder. Okay, let me go to Browse again because within that Design Bundles file, I'm going to click New Folder and I'm going to actually name it the same name as that file. So that was called Motivational Bundle. Motivational Bundle. Okay. And I'm just going to click it and then click Select Folder. So when the files are extracted, they will be extracted to the Moto Motivational Bundle folder. Okay, so 105 items. Okay, so now they are there. I don't have the option to extract it anymore. That means it is available on my computer now. So I can close this out. 
I can close all of this out. I don't need it anymore. I'm also going to close the design bundles tab because I'm finished with it. Now I will head over to Cricut Design Space and show you how to upload that file for use within Cricut Design Space. I am in Cricut Design Space and I am connected to my Cricut Maker. I know that you could also do the same project on a Cricut Explore Air 2 or a Cricut Explore 3. I only have a Cricut Maker and a Cricut Explore Air 2. Okay, so what I'll do first is upload the files that I just downloaded from Design Bundles. So I'll go to Upload Image. I'll click Browse. I'll browse to the place where I have that file saved. So I'm going to go to Design Bundles folder. And then that one was called the Motivational Bundle. So I'm going to double click that. Double click Motivational Bundle. And I am going to download the PNGs, OK, because I'm making stickers and um, I want these because they don't have a, a background and I'll just put a background. I'll show you the full process. OK, as far as I know, you have to upload or um, upload files one at a time. So this first one says, actually, I can. I'll click open. I'm just going to click complex and continue. I'm not going to do anything to it. I want to click apply and continue. And I want this print then cut image. OK, I want to click upload and then I'm going to go back and just upload each of the other files. Yeah, it's only one at a time. So I'm going to click this one, go to go the extra mile. It's never crowded. I love that. OK, and I'm not, you know, editing these files in any way. I'm all I'm uploading all of them as print then cut images. I'm going to go back and I'll speed this part up. OK, so I've uploaded all of them. Let me make sure one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. There are ten files in that bundle and I've uploaded all ten. Now what I'll do is hold the shift key and bring all of them into Cricut Design Space at the same time. So I'll hold the shift key on my keyboard and I'll click each file individually. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and I'll click add to canvas. They are going to come in big, I'm sure. Ten files at one time, so it's taking a minute. Ooh, that is big, it's huge. Okay, so what I am going to do now, the view on my screen is at 100%. I'm gonna bring it down to 50%, okay? And I suggest you start getting into the habit of doing that too, because it's better when you can see everything on your screen. I love to see every single thing on my screen at the same time. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is just kind of scroll down a little bit and you know make this smaller because it's just a lot going on at one time. Okay, and I'm not gonna move these, I'm not gonna separate these just yet. The next thing I'm going to do is grab a shapes from the shapes tool, I'm going to just grab this rectangle right here. And I'm going to move it over here to the side and I'm going to unlock it. What I'm doing is making a template that will be acceptable to Cricut Design Space because as you may or may not know, the biggest size you can do print then cut in Cricut Design Space is 9.25. So that's going to be my width and the height will be 6.75 okay so i can't i know that i can't go any bigger than that now i know that there are some crafters or some content creators who have found hacks to 
you know, kind of trick the system. I have not tried that. I just kind of stick to the rules for the most part. Okay, so I'm gonna change the color of my template. This is just going to be my template. I'm not even printing this out. I wanna change the color of this to white, okay? All right, and now I will start to move these files one at a time after I resize them. Okay, well, I'm gonna resize them and move them. Okay, so now I know I like this one, but I also know that if I try to do a print then cut on this just the way that it is, this would be a nightmare because each letter would print individually. So it would be like Y-O-U-N-E. I need to have a background behind this in order for it to print properly. Okay, and I want it to print properly. So I'm going to do an offset behind that one. And um, let me see, 25, 0.25 is always, you know, big in my opinion. So I just kind of bring it down. I normally go to like 15 if possible. So let me see what 15 looks like, 0.15, okay. That actually looks really good to me. I wanna click apply. Okay, so the offset typically turns black. You can change it to whatever color you want. I like the yellow, I'm going to go with the yellow. Pretty sure I'm gonna go with the yellow. Now I'm going to flatten it. And I'm also going to make it um, let me check my size. Let me get my ruler and just double check the size that I'm making this. Okay, I like 3.5 as my height. So 3.5 is a good enough height. And yeah, I like that. I like that. Okay, 3.5 is good. Okay, so now I'll just kind of work with the next one. You are entirely up to you. Absolutely a true statement. Um, and I'm, I have to put an offset behind it. Okay, and 15 is where I'm starting. I like that already. I'm going to click apply. And I think I'm just changing my offset to white. And I will flatten this. And remember, I want the height to be 3.5. I want the height of all of them to be pretty much the same. And you know what I think I better do is change this. Let me unflatten it and change this to pink. I better just stick with one color and not try to be, um... Ugh. let's see white. I think I'll just stick with white. Let's go with white. I'll flatten that. Okay, I don't want my colors to be all over the place and since all of these seem to be in one color scheme I don't want to mess it up all right prove them wrong um, I'm going to add the offset keep it on 15 click apply I'm going to make this offset a little bit bigger and let me tell you why okay offset again if I cut this even if I flatten it this is still separated. Prove and them and wrong will all be separated from each other and I don't want them to be separated. So the way to avoid that is just to make the offset a little bit bigger. So um, I want them to be attached. I want them to stay together. Okay, so let me, oh goodness, hold on. Let me do it again. Offset, let's, Let's go to 20 on the offset here. And I am going to click apply and I'm gonna change the color of my offset to white. And I will flatten this and the height should be 3.5. Okay, move that over. So, so far my stickers are kind of big and it looks like I won't be able to fit that many if I keep going at this size. So I might have to bring them um, down a little bit because the goal is to just print one sheet of stickers. I don't want to have, I don't want to print two sheets. I want to be able to fit all of these, all 10 of these on one sheet. Okay, so I'm going to offset this. I like that already. I'm going to click apply. I want to change the color of the offset to white and I am going to select this whole thing and flatten it and bring it down. 
you'll see how nice it's going to look once it's all printed. It's going to be beautiful. All right. This offset. Um, I am going to click. I like, oh my gosh, that's so pretty. I'm going to click apply. I'm going to change the color of the offset to white. Um, okay. All right. Uh, this part will, will speed this up. I think that is it. Let me bring my view up so we can get a good look at it. Okay, that is beautiful. Now I will turn this, remember this was just my template. I'm gonna turn that template off. I'm gonna select over all of these and I am going to attach them. And you see, I don't have any errors on my screen. I don't have a little triangle that says, no, no, no. Now I will click make it. And this should give me the option to have everything on one sheet of paper. Look at how beautiful that is. Okay, now I will click continue. Okay. And it's going to ask me to send this to a printer. I am sending this to my Canon MX470 printer. Uh, um, this is not sublimation. This is just plain um, printing from my desk jet printer. Okay. I am going to use system dialog. You can keep the ad bleed on if you choose. Um, I'm going to use system dialog, which will give me my printer options and my, so I can, you know, make sure I have the right settings. Okay. Just going to think about it. Okay. Canon MX470. I'm going to click preferences. I'm going to keep it on standard right here. Media type. I am using photo paper. It is glossy photo paper, but I want the print quality to be high. I am going to make sure I preview before printing so I can just do a double check. This will help you not to waste ink and not to waste paper. I'm going to click OK and then I'll click print again and my print preview will show up. OK, this is exactly how I want it to look. This is perfect. All right, so now I will load my paper in my printer. Now on my specific printer, I have to load the paper face down. And so that's what I'll do. I have my um, stickers printed out. I'm going to put them on my mat right in the corner in the same way that it matches on my screen. My cut setting is set to printable sticker paper white because this does have a white background okay so you get it on there as straight as possible and then Cric your Cricut will do the rest so this is as straight as I can get it it matches what's on my screen I'm using my regular fine point blade 
I'm going to load it. I, you know, I hold my mat until I make sure it's straight and all the way in. I'm gonna click that flashing button. I'm also going to make sure there are at least 10 inches behind my machine before I click the C for it to start cutting. Okay, so I'm ready. Click the C and I'll let my Cricut do the rest. Okay, I have them cut and it looks like I need to do a calibration on my maker because it is not cut perfectly, but I will see if I'm still able to use most of them. I'm not gonna take this out of the video because you need to know what to do if you experience this. So I am peeling the excess away from my mat and I've decided that I'm going to put the stickers here on my Cricut Explore Air 2. I don't know who put that star there. I'm assuming one of my daughters did it but I'm not going to take it away because I like it. I know I did not do it. I don't know but I like it there. It doesn't bother me. Ooh, I need to calibrate. Calibrate. This machine has calibration in its future. All right, so I am going to peel them up one, probably one at a time. Oh, look, see, that's not attached. And it I wanted it to be attached, but it's okay. I will attach. Look at how cute. How cute that is. Hold, let me see, make sure you can see it. Look at how cute that is. I am going to put that right there. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Design Bundles. I think I'm going to have to use a weeding tool to kind of pick these up because I don't want to mess them up. I don't want to mess them up with my nails. Oh my gosh. Look at, look at how cute that is. I love it. So what I'm doing is pulling it from the, the backing. And because this paper is like really thin, I'm having to use a weeding tool to get get the sticky, get the sticker from the backing. So, and if you follow me for any length of time, you know that I'm not really, not really good at that, but look at how cute that is. Look at, I love it. It's so pretty. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'll speed this part up. So this is the finished product. And what am I going to say? I love it. I struggled to get these stickers from this paper, but um, I was able to do it. My uh, closing advice to you is to clean your mat with this uh, from this sticker paper as soon as you finish because trying to clean it later is a nightmare. Um, but I love the way these turned out. I suggest you go and download that file as soon as you finish watching this tutorial. I have left a link for it down below. I also left a link to my Amazon storefront below and links to every single thing that I use in this tutorial. I am so happy you joined me today. Hopefully this was helpful to you. If you're afraid to get started with print then cut, don't be. This is not a hard thing. The only thing to remember is to add an offset, okay? And you can make it as big or as small as you want and you can change the color of your offset. All right, thank you so much for joining me today. And if you haven't already, I almost forgot to say it. 
do the three things. Hit the like, subscribe, and turn on the bell for notifications because I do upload new content every single week. Now, thanks so much for joining me today and thanks for watching.